Now I know a lot of people are calling for a crash, a huge correction, a recession, okay, for 2019, and that may be, okay? I think, now let's talk about if the market starts to really turn down, and even if it crashes, even if we see a huge correction or a recession, and let's say prices go down 10 or 20%, What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Remax of Orange Beach, ZeroToDiamond.com, where I'm reducing the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. What am I excited about for 2019? Well, first off, 2018 flew by. It went by so fast, it was almost a blink of an eye, but so much happened in 2018. It was an incredible year for me. Um, 2017, you know, was the first year it hit a million dollars. And it was like everything just was coming at me and like everything just fell in my lap. You know, I couldn't really keep up with how many deals were coming at me. Um, and so that was a good thing. I enjoyed that. You know, I was just, my work involved basically processing and, and just helping people that were approaching me saying, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And so that was a really good year. 2018 um, ended up with the same exact result but I feel like I worked harder for it. Um, um, not as many things fell in my lap. Actually, very little things fell in my lap. I really had to be aggressive. I really had to, to put in the work to find the deals. And, you know, so I, I put in more work. I really feel like um, not necessarily more work, just different kind of work. It was more of a where's the next deal coming from rather than, you know, how are we going to process all these deals. At the end of the day, um, I enjoy the ebbs and flows. I enjoy the ups and downs of the market, and it keeps me on my toes, and that's what I like. I like a challenge. I don't like everything being the same. Um, that's kind of why I got into coaching and doing these YouTube videos is because it, it, it pushes me. It challenges me. So in my market, transactions were down in the amount of Gulf front condos that were sold, and that's my primary market. Our single family homes transactions were up just a little bit, but it was still kind of flat. And so overall, the market did slow down a lot, and it was just a different kind of market. Prices did not go up as much as they did in 2017. And, you know, I had to make adjustments, okay? Um, maybe January, February, I noticed this slowdown happening and I made adjustments. And that's what you have to do. You have to pay attention to the market and when transactions slow down or speed up or, you know, the climate of, of the buyer's attitudes, you know, towards certain things, certain properties and certain price points change, you have to pick up on that and adjust your game plan. This is what most agents don't do. They don't adjust their game plan. They just continue doing the same things and that's why they end up failing or, or end up just being average is because they don't adapt and take advantage of the opportunity that's going on in the market. There's always, always an opportunity in the market at all times. So 2019 to me is gonna be no different. We're gonna go into 2019 and we're going to evaluate, okay? January is gonna be a great month to see kind of where we are. We just experienced one of the slowest Decembers that I've ever seen. And to me, you know, maybe it's just me being optimistic, but I feel like hopefully that's gonna to lead to a really busy January. Okay, so, so maybe there's a lot of pent up demand in my market and people are waiting for the first of the year to, to get out there and to buy something or so on and so forth. I'm really looking to see what happens in January to see if my prediction there is right. Either way it goes, I'm gonna make adjustments and I'm gonna set myself up for the rest of the year. Now I know a lot of people are calling for a crash, a huge correction, a recession, okay, for 2019 and that may be. Okay, I think that no one really knows exactly, you know, when we're going to get a huge hit, you know, when we're going to get, you know, a, a light correction. Nobody really knows when these things are going to happen. Nobody can predict it at all. Um, anyone that tells you that they know what's fixing to happen, they're they're literally trying to sell you something somewhere. So be very weary of people that tell you they know what's going to happen. Okay, no one knows what's gonna happen. So, but what we do is, is we pay attention and we make adjustments. There's always an opportunity. So, if the market continues to be flat, okay, and we have somewhere close to the same amount of transactions in 2019 as we had in 18, that's great because 
that tells me that I will have probably a better year than I had in 2018 because 2018 I had to make huge adjustments and if 2019 is the same kind of year, I'm not really gonna have to make that huge of adjustments as I did from 17 to 18 and I should be able to capitalize and reach my goals. If for some reason the market really picks up and we have another crazy busy year like we did in 2017, then that's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, I can just sit here and just deals are gonna be thrown at me and all I have to do is catch them and process them and close them and just help these people do what they wanna do. So it's a no-brainer there if the market decides to explode. Now let's talk about if the market starts to really turn down and even if it crashes, even if we see a huge correction or a recession, and let's say prices go down 10 or 20%, I don't see that, but if it happens, here's the game plan. We're gonna notice it, okay? We're gonna pick that up very early, we're gonna know that that's what's happening, and we're gonna make adjustments really early into the process, and we're gonna literally get on the phones, okay? When the market starts to turn down, that means that there's gonna be less activity overall, okay? And it's gonna give you as an agent a lot more time on your hands. What are we gonna do? We're gonna fill that time up with talking to people, preferably property owners, okay? These are the highest quality prospects they buy and sell. So we're gonna call, we're just gonna to continue to circle prospect, okay? We can call expires and for sale by owners and all that stuff if you want to, okay? But my bread and butter is the circle prospecting. These are people that aren't getting called by other agents. And I'm gonna simply do the same thing I do when the market's great, I'm gonna use my script ask them how they're doing, see if you know there's anything in the world that I can do to help them, okay? And we're gonna get into a conversation about the market. There's no doubt because the market's turning down and we have all this, this market data in our head because we're paying attention to the market. We know where the market's at in their subdivision, their complex, and you know when the market starts to come down, if it comes down 10 or 20%, there's gonna be a lot of people that wanna buy during this period. Okay, and it's gonna be up to us to get out there and find these people, these investors, that wanna buy while the market is down. We have to get out there and find these people and help these people purchase these properties. Okay, at the same token, there's gonna to be sellers that have to sell because all of a sudden they're in trouble because you know the market crashed on them, we're in a recession, they're not making out as much money, maybe they get laid off, whatever the case may be, and they need help getting out of this property. Okay, so there's where our listings are gonna come from. Maybe it's a straight up listing. Maybe it ends up being a short sale. Okay, back when the market crashed in, in 2008, between then and 2000, maybe 12 or 13, I did about 50 short sales for clients. I have a lot of experience doing short sales and it is a grueling process. There's a lot to it, but uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that you just gotta get in there, get your, get your hands dirty, and get to work. Um, and every bank does the short sale process differently. So you have to kind of go through the process. Um, if the market does crash and short sales do become a, 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 you know, a, a big part of the market again, then I'll do a video on, on you know, kind of the basics of the process of the short sale. Overall, do I see a big crash coming? Maybe, maybe not. Does it matter? Absolutely not. Listen guys, business is 100% unlimited regardless of anything. Okay, why is it unlimited? It's because the industry is this big and we as agents are, are not, even, not even in the, you have to have a microscope to see us in size of the market and, and the, the volume of the actual market. Okay, so to me, unlimitedness means that there's more than we can handle. There's no way that you can handle everything that, that, that you can possibly do and have the time to process, okay? There's no way in the world. There's more than you can handle forever, okay? Now, the industry is this big, the amount of volume. We are this big, okay? We're little bitty peon agents in this huge industry, okay? What if the industry goes down 50%? Okay, we're still very small compared to the industry. What if it goes down 20, uh, 75 percent? Where it gets down to 25 percent of the, the current size, we're still so small compared to the overall market, which tells us that business is unlimited. Okay, closings are happening every single day, regardless of anything going on, and it's up to us to continue pushing and meeting new people and helping more and more people. That's the name of the game. So. 
Again, I'm Ricky Carruth. If you guys haven't met me yet, I'm here to make a difference in the real estate industry. I want to push this message out there as far as I can so that less agents have to quit the business when the market does finally decide to crash. I am coaching thousands of real estate agents for absolutely free. There's a free course. There's an action plan, there's live training twice a month, and there's a huge Facebook group full of all the members. All that can be found at zero2diamond.com. I still answer every email, text message, and DM on Instagram. So if you guys need anything whatsoever, I'm here for you. I got your back, and we'll talk to you soon.